Hey guys, welcome back to my vlog. It is crazy. I'm a mom. Look at it. Just gave her a little bath and um, dressed her up in this little hat so she doesn't get cold. But um, today I wanted to just film a vlog, a postpartum one week body update vlog. Um, it is just a crazy journey, pregnancy and postpartum and I'm now just 10 days postpartum so my little my little squishy over here is uh 10 days old which is insane like it seems like so long i guess just because of the frequent wake ups at night and everything but i just wanted to kind of document my body changes after you know going through pregnancy and what to expect i guess for anyone that's curious and everybody's journey in pregnancy labor birth postpartum is completely different so what I went through is completely not, you know, accurate representation of what you will go through. But I think it's quite interesting because the body is incredible. Let's get into it. The biggest changes, I guess, that I've noticed, obviously, after birth was pain. Um, I had an emergency C-section, so I have um, the scar, the incision, which is still painful i've had pain meds for that uh, it's only now started to get a little bit better it's low quite um just above like the bikini kind of around the bikini line on top uh, just you know at the bottom of the stomach and yeah it's quite long i mean they did have to pull her out of there and that has been pretty good in healing i got my stitches out day five they have internal stitches which are still healing and they're meant to dissolve on their own but um yeah right now you can still really noticeably see the, the incision uh, and i'm just kind of seeing where that will go i'm sure it's going to fade pretty quickly nowadays they do internal stitches instead of the big staples um to reduce scarring uh, which is really nice uh, other than that um i did have to push a little bit because um, I did get to full dilation uh, before they wheeled me off. So I did have, you know, tenderness down there. Um, and I still do a little bit. I had a catheter in because of the C-section. Um, so it does feel quite dis uncomfortable going to the bathroom. Um, as well as... Uh, it's just strange, you know, going to the bathroom, I think. <laughs> People don't really <laughs> warn you about it or I guess talk about it because it's kind of an uncomfortable subject and quite embarrassing, I guess, for some people. But I'm not embarrassed because everyone does it. But um, because of the contracting of the muscles and all of the pressure down there and everything, to be able to relax was really difficult for me uh, and still is. Um, I have quite a lot of like muscle spasms down there that actually cause quite a bit of pain when I go to the bathroom. So that is something that is definitely different and getting used to and I hope it passes soon. Um, in terms of physical changes, obviously you grow a lot in pregnancy um, to, you know, be the vessel for your baby. And I didn't, I wouldn't say I grew like in pregnancy I wouldn't say that I was a huge I didn't gain huge size I'd say I was quite um, normal she was born at 3.7 kgs which is around 8.3 pounds um, so you know pretty average a little bit on the bigger side but yeah my hips got a lot bigger uh, I gained a lot of like weight around my butt area and my hips which is quite interesting because as your stomach is growing I didn't really notice my hips and my butt growing because in proportion to my stomach they kind of stayed the same but when I try clothes on now they don't really fit even though they were loose before around my legs and butt area they're quite tight uh, which I guess is completely understandable with all the body changes um, with my stomach obviously it went down but it didn't I think there's a misconception with some people that think that you give birth and then your stomach just goes down to how it was before. It's just totally not the case. Uh, I still had a stomach. I still looked pregnant. I had a lot of swelling. There's a lot of trauma to the stomach area 
that needs to heal the placenta expelling um i still have bleeding which will continue from three to six weeks postpartum uh, a lot less than if i had a vaginal delivery but it's still there because there's still stuff that needs to come out and heal um so yeah my stomach it feels quite intact though i am quite surprised of like right now it's not that loose it's just it seems like my stomach is almost swollen or really bloated um, but every day it goes down further and as i was breastfeeding and having tummy time and stuff like that the body is incredible it you know told my my brain and my body that i'm no longer pregnant and that my stomach should contract so i was having contractions postpartum to allow my stomach to kind of come back in uh, which is really crazy so yeah every day as you can see from the videos that i'm posting um, now they are a little bit it's a little bit smaller every day um, even more so now that i'm on day 10 uh, this video is just about from you know days one to seven but i will do another update at probably one month just to show you the progression I'm not exercising, I'm not really meant to exercise until six weeks or that I, so or when I'm cleared. Um, I do walk quite a bit, like just around the house and things, but nothing, you know, too strenuous, just because I want to heal properly. Even though I'm really itching to get back into working out, it's not worth pushing it. Um, and my breasts have gained a lot of size. As you'd imagine, um, I am pumping expressing breast milk uh, and giving that to my baby so my boobs kind of <laughs> like gained like three cup sizes overnight which is just like insane uh, it honestly feels like I've had a boob job um, so yeah I was around like a B maybe like a small C and now I'm I think at least a double D I haven't you know measured or anything but definitely a lot bigger than they were before so that's definitely been an adjustment because I don't fit all of my tops and things the same either. And I didn't really prepare for the postpartum clothing changes. I kind of thought that I would fit my clothes or at least the clothes that used to be a little bit big. But no, I don't really fit those either. And I guess I'm going to wait and see like where my body kind of lands and if I'll ever be able to fit those clothes again. But... Um, yeah, it's definitely something to think about if you're pregnant now or if you're in postpartum. I might have to change my wardrobe and it's a little bit crazy kind of navigating those body changes. I have struggled with body image in the past, but with pregnancy, it really helped me to love my body. And I'm trying to continue that um, now and just accepting the changes as they come. And I really think it's incredible how I carried a baby and... Like my body's kind of coming back to its own uh, new form. I'll never look exactly the same as I did prior to having a baby, but it's it's exciting to see, you know, where my body will be. And once I can exercise again, where I can shape it and, um, yeah, what, what, what it will be. So, yeah, that's just kind of a little recap of the first, you know, the first one week of my body postpartum i will do a more extensive update um, in one month and maybe show you my scar as well to see where that is um, i'm not really comfortable showing the scar right now um, just because it's quite in a vulnerable area but yeah it is um it's an interesting journey <laughs> and it's a journey that i'll be on for a while but she's worth it because she's so cute. I'm really enjoying this time with her, so. Yeah. If you have any questions, please pop them down in the description. Um, remember, this is my journey. This is my takeaways from postpartum, my experiences. Everyone is different, but if you have any questions, please pop them down below and I can do my best to answer them. Thank you guys for watching.